morning and welcome to it is not a very nice day out there for biking Winnipeg yeah we actually had rain yesterday afternoon for a while not much but just enough that I was going to get to go out with my bike mind you I wasn't ready anyway uh, in the rollback you are going to see me using this tool wrong and if you want to know why I used it wrong, well, look at the picture that they gave with it and you'll know why. Okay. Uh, also in the rollback, I'm going to put where you can scrub ahead to get through it. Cause I think it lasts about 15 minutes taking this thing off, doing it the wrong way. We'll talk about that at, at the end because I, I don't want to leave the impression that the way I did it is the right way to do it. Cause it wasn't okay enough we are actually going to do something on the model ship today i'm going to try and get these on on or at least one of these on here the other one goes on on the other little unit which has to be painted that goes somewhere else uh and and i will actually possibly will be moving over to what is it step 37 i believe uh i, I think we should finish 36 today okay uh Enough tomfoolery here. Knock on wood. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I just don't know what to say about how I used this. I, I don't know what I was thinking because uh, I kind of pride myself as being a little bit more mechanically inclined. <laughs> well, you'll see in the rollback. Okay. Let's roll back. Okay, before we get going here and I lay the bike over on its side and I try to get the crank off, I just wanted to show an adjustment that I'd made on the handlebars here. Uh, one of the viewers was mentioning how they were, you know, they were turned up and away from me. So I, I, I already had decided I was going to try and change it if I could. And actually it wasn't all that hard, just loosen the, the clamp here. And I twisted them this way. Oh, I'm, I'm guessing uh, uh, about 80 degrees, I guess. So, so right now, it's, it's more, they're more towards me and they're down. Now, at first I thought that these hand grips had been glued on because they just did not want to release. Uh, but if I got a hold of them with both hands, I was able to twist them up. So, uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty good. And of course, naturally, I had to readjust everything else that was on here, but that, that wasn't a big deal. Okay, just wanted to mention, I've changed this. Okay, the bike is laying over on its right side now. Now, I have had this out before. And I can't remember if I tightened it up really, really tight or not. I'm hoping I didn't. No, I didn't. I guess I knew I was going to have to take it off again. Okay, now on the inside there you can't see it, but there's a square spindle. And uh, this piece does come with, with an adapter that go. Well, oh, sorry. <laughs> this piece does come with an adapter that goes on the end of here. But I. Just let me try it here. Do I actually need it? No, if I, if I, use, if I use this then it's not going to be pushing on the end of the spindle. Now, so let me back this up here. Now, is this going to screw on or no? Now we don't want to cross thread it. Just go very, very gently here. I'll back, go backwards until it sort of feels about right. Then we'll go forward. Okay, it's the right size. It is the right size. Okay. Now, I am not going to tighten this up really, really tight. The reason being is that if I tighten it really tight, I'm putting 
stress on the threads that are, are going to already have more stress on them. So now the idea is that we screw this in and it's supposed to push on the end of the spindle and pull on the crank. Oh my. I might uh, do well to maybe work on it a little bit here. I, I'm not getting very good leverage. Maybe I'll go like this. You know what? I'm going to have to get a longer wrench. Okay, I went down to my workshop and I, I've got a, a bigger wrench as you can see here. Now, what one thing that I'm hoping is not going to happen is that these, I believe this it might be aluminum. And uh, if it is, the threads are not going to be that strong and it could be that this whole thing is just going to strip the threads out and in which case, if that's the case, I'll have to think of something else here. Okay, I can't get enough leverage on it. I'm going to have to... Uh, <laughs> I'm getting winded here. I, I'm going to have to uh, put the bike at a different angle. It, it, it was a... If it was my old bike, I'd just turn it upside down and put it on the seat and the handlebars. But, uh, I'll think of something, don't worry. Well, something is happening. I don't know if it's pulling the the threads out or what. I would have thought that this should have started to come a little easier by now. I'm not seeing any sign of the uh, of the, this unit being pulled out of the out of there like it's not supposed to. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to readjust my pedals here. I just think the best way is to let's just lift the wheel and turn it a little bit. There we go. I could have gotten a, a socket from downstairs too while I was down there, but I didn't. Why is this this wrench keeps having a tendency to feel like it's closing up on me? Well, let's try it like this. That's going easier now. They probably pressed this on in the factory. Oh, something's coming. It's actually quite loose now. There we go. Alright, so now the idea is we want to turn it so that it will be down the same as the other one. And I'm hoping that it's, they're going to line up. 
Yeah, they, they are. Okay, so uh, I can remove this now and uh, uh, put it back on. I think, I think you get the idea of what's happening here. Okay, now before we can put this back on, we have to take this out, obviously. I'm using my spotlight from the model table. I'm hoping it's going to be a lot clearer for you. Okay, put that up for the time being, and we should be able to remove this. Oh, it's, it's just finger tight. I, I thought it might be a little bit tight. And let, let me zoom you in. Okay. Oh my. That that was really uh you know you know what happened? You know what has happened? This tool is not a hundred percent designed for for this because it the uh well at, at least it worked. That it worked, but boy that that uh wow. <laughs> I'm gonna have to maybe grind this down a little bit. I didn't realize that that hole in there was was so small. There, there's no other adapter that comes with this thing, but but it did work. I don't think it broke or wrecked anything in there. No, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything on my on my finger that shouldn't be there. And the threads of this have not been damaged, so we should be able to you know, draw this thing back on nice and tight. Tight enough anyway. Okay, I'm just going to give it a little bit more here. I don't want to make it too tight because I might want to put it back someday. In fact, that, that's my plan. I'm hoping to be able to put it back someday. Uh, but there's a lot of things that I'm hoping for someday. Okay, now let's uh, recompose here and, and uh, see how it feels when I sit on it. Okay, quite a bit of time has passed here now. I've got a problem with the fact that the seat has to be fastened so it doesn't swivel on me. And, uh... I can't, I can't swing my leg over the seat. I, I just spent probably uh, 10 minutes trying to do it here. Now, I can... If I have something to hold on to here, I can I can step over it. You know, very very, very carefully I can step over it. But I don't want I want to watch that I don't lose my balance. See, the idea is I if I get to a place where there's there's nothing to hang on to, I have to be able to do this the way I'm doing it right now without hanging onto the table or the counter or or whatever. Okay, now the idea is I just raise the bike up underneath me. I, I can lift pretty good. Sort of. Um, now, okay, now the seat is not straight. Now, now, okay, now put the brakes on. Okay, now both pedals are down. Yeah, this one here is the best to be flipped up a little bit. There we go, it's in place. Okay, now I can sort of sit on the seat and and uh, have both feet flat on the ground, which is which is good. You know, there's a, a certain amount of stability there. And the idea is that once I get going, you know, uh, I can I'm, now. I'm, now I'm going to pretend that I'm going. Okay, so I'm going to hold on to something here. Then, then, then I can get both feet on here. And uh, when my son was here, we had we had talked about making this 
th this pedal system so that it it would not uh, it would not swing. Now let's see if I can just get this to go just part way down. Okay, see, see the idea is that when, when, when I'm going, it's going to swing back and forth a little bit. And we were going to, and I was talking about putting, you know, you, you'll notice that there's that, that skeg just right at the bottom there that I'm pointing at. And I was thinking of fastening everything so that it would, uh, th that the pedals wouldn't swing this way. But then I realized that it, then it is no longer a, uh, an e-bike. It's, it's it, it becomes a motorcycle then because you can't pedal it. So the idea is that if I can see I, I can actually stand up on these pedals if I have to. Um, okay but then, then when I come to a stop I have to get both feet on the ground which 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 is fine and then we just let everything go over on its on its side. It's it's not it's not that heavy. Okay, now now then to to step off of it. See, this is the problem to step off of it and not lose my balance. Uh, well, that kind of works. I, it would be really nice if the seat was lower or, or could be quickly removed and then I could get on from the back. I, that, that I could actually do quite quickly. <laughs> Did I buy myself another snowblower? I'm wondering. It's a good thing that it was sort of rainy out there a little while ago and I didn't want to do any biking anyway. And I'm starting to get kind of tired. I know you can't see the clock in the kitchen here, but it's about two minutes to seven already in the evening. So uh, <laughs> I'm better off trying to do this when I'm fresh in the morning. And maybe the sun will be shining again. Although they're predicting uh, showers. So, <laughs> oh yeah, an old man's folly, right? Okay, we'll get it, we'll get it. Okay, just very quickly here now before I put this pedal back on. Um, by the way, my neighbor was out biking this morning, oh, just about half an hour ago. He came by and wanted my air tank to top up his tires, which we did. And uh, now... Uh, what was I going to tell you? Okay, so I was trying to do this wrong. So let me move in a little bit here. Okay. Originally, I thought because this thing is pictured like this, this is the way it's supposed to be used. But I could see that that if I have it like this, the it it won't go in to to shove on the on the square spindle, which which comes up through from the other side. Okay. I, I the the thought had occurred to me that I wonder is it supposed to go the other way, but I thought it probably won't fit that way either. And but you can see here that if you turn it around, then it it does, it does go in and push on the. On the square spindle, and uh, and then of course what would happen is when when you screw this thing down, it it pushes it in. Uh, yeah, and, and that's the way I took it off the second time now. Okay, I'm going to stick this thing back on in hopes that I can get out on the bike later today. And uh, if, I, if I do, I, uh, I will uh, show it to you. All, all being well. Oh, uh, you're probably noticing that this is, looks kind of burred up. Well, I, I took it down and I, I ground off all the excess crud that this thing had caused. Oh, the reason, what, what had happened there, the, the reason that this thing got so messed up on the end is that because from the pressure and the heat generated and everything, this thing was actually screwing itself into the end of, of, the, uh, of the square spindle, which has a hole in it, of course. And, um, 
Yeah, it was it was threading. It's sort of like a you might say like a die, you know, a tap and die. So uh, yeah, as it turns out, I was lucky three times. I was lucky that I didn't ruin this completely, so it can't be used again. I was lucky that I didn't uh, ruin the uh, the square spindle, and and I was lucky that the thing came off. So uh, okay. Anyway, now let's get back to the model. Okay, here is what's happened. I took the e-bike out for its first ride. And uh, it went fairly well. Uh, I was very, very apprehensive at first. Uh, because, uh, well, I, like, uh, I haven't been riding for 17 years and I was feeling a little bit unsteady and unsure of myself and thoughts were going through my mind. Do I <clears throat> still remember how to balance and stuff like that? Anyway, uh, one of the viewers was mentioning that uh, he noticed that the holes in the side of this, these, these uh, arrays don't seem to match up too good with where they're supposed to go on right here. So uh, we're going to have to move in and check that out. I haven't checked it out yet as best I remember. Uh, yeah, the, the, the hole on here is, is a different shape a little bit. All right, now it has to go this way. Okay, so uh, let's just recompose. Oh, I, I did get one scrape on my arm. Okay, where is it? Yeah, you, you can just see it there. Now, <laughs> the funny part is that happened here at the model table. I was reaching over and I scraped my arm on a screw that was sticking out of the one of these uprights that holds my gantry up. Now, I thought I'd removed all those screws, but apparently I didn't. Oh, I, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm going to put the, uh, once I go through the footage that I've got, I did wear the chest cam, and uh, it'll be at the end of today's episode. I might have said that, I might not, I can't remember. I'm still a little bit excited. <laughs> I'm going to go out again later this afternoon. Maybe if the weather's nice, and maybe after my neighbor comes over, comes over for coffee, uh, uh I'll do it then. Anyway, let's let's uh, try and get our thoughts together here, okay, Ron? I should have taken that one out too. Okay, now I'm debating: should I use Tony's tweezers here to grab hold of this? Um. I didn't want to use them because I'm probably going to scrape the black paint off of the off of the uh, photo etch. But on the other hand, I'm afraid that if I try to come in with my with my fingers, I'm going to end up pushing on those on the array. Okay. Okay, so far so good. Now I do believe it's safe to lay this down. And it has to go... Okay, so we have to try and get... Let's see, what? how can I grab hold of this here? Can I get in like this? See, that, that box affair is fairly strong. If I could get it, if I could get my tweezer in there without actually touching anything else. Something like this. Now then this has to go on. Hmm. There it's going. It's going. All right. Now, where are those other pieces gone? There we go. Now it seems to me that I concluded that these were these were both the same. They, they, at least at least they looked the same to me. I, I can't see one being angled different from the other. So what I have to try to do now is get 
this little tiny peg into that hole and then we'll worry about getting it in into the other place later. I might have to just sort of reposition here. I'm at a bit of an, an awkward angle. Okay, here's the plan. We are using our helping hands here to hold this at a bit of an angle. And my hope is to be able to put this peg in that hole without putting stress on the other peg which is supporting the whole thing. So let me move you in here. It looks like it's going to go. This is actually the first time I'm trying it. Now we don't want to be putting any extra lateral force on the other peg because if we do it's going to break off. So I'm just sort of wiggling it in here. Maybe if I had to scrape the paint off of the peg it would have gone in easier. Now, I sort of have this feeling like I want to brace this up a little bit from the other side and push on it. I, th I think it's basically in now. Okay, now, let me just turn this just a little bit here. We'll try and get the base of the bracket in the square hole. And then we can use, uh, maybe if I was to turn this thing, uh, up it would be a little bit better. I think we, we yeah I'm going to just swing it up so it's almost perfectly level. Okay I think I've got everything at the right angle here now. And I'll use uh, these tweezers because they've got soft stuff on the outside so they won't scratch. You know should I be using the macro lens? I think so. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, and I pulled it out. I pulled it out. Maybe I can get it back in. Yeah, sort of did. This is this is not going quite as planned. Maybe maybe I should forget about the uh, padded tweezers and just use another pair of tweezers because the padding is sort of blocking my vision there. I'd, I'd really like to use Tony's tweezers but they're a little bit on the on the uh, thick side. I don't think I could get the... Alright, here's the thought. This is, this is obviously not working. How would it be if I was to get this square pit? Oh. It's a good thing I can cut out the nonsense. If I was to put the peg in the hole first, like that, I believe it's in. And then, can we manipulate this? I'm sorry to be getting my finger in your way here, but I... You know, I'm wondering if maybe I would be better off to have this at about a 45 degree. Oh, I'm breaking my railing off. This is not wanting to go for some reason. Now, what? Why is that? Is the is the peg not in the in the hole? Let me just check that. You know what? I think I'm going to have to reposition here. Okay, I think that the peg is basically in the in the slot now, isn't it? Or isn't it? Why can't I get this? Ah. Okay, we're going to be wanting our extra thin here eventually. Um, 
Now, uh, as you can see, I've got my steady rest going here, and I'm going to try and use Tony's tweezers. and come at it from the top instead of from the side. I might, but then I can't, I, then I can't see the peg. Yeah, the peg is being blocked. Okay, maybe if I was to put them at a bit of an angle like that. Now let's try not to drop it. I, I find that Tony's tweezers are uh, much easier to manipulate and I don't know why. I don't know why it is. Is it because maybe they, they, you don't? It's not so hard to get them to you know, to squeeze them together. Now let's first see if we can get the slot. What what is the problem going on here? Now I, I'm pretty sure that. The, the peg is in the square peg is in the square and square hole now if I could bring this up so I uh, just grab it by the edge here no that's, that's not going to work we almost got it we almost got it Okay, I believe that the square, oh, the square pig's not in the square hole. What, what's the problem going on there, anyway? Um, see, what, what happens is if I, I'm wondering if when I put, put this one on, the, uh, did I possibly have it too much that way, if you know what I mean. And, um, uh, All right, here's a thought. If I was to just glue this down like, like right now, and, and, and probably this, this pin will come out of the photo etch hole, but that, that'll be okay because what we can do is I can put the, the thing back together and then slide the whole array about half a, mil this, half a millimeter this way. And that way, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Where's my uh, extra thin here and we'll just just get it melted in place just like that okay let's just let that melt okay uh, I'm going to turn everything off here Okay, probably only about two or three minutes has passed here. But I was sitting watching it and I noticed that the that the uh this whole unit seemed to have been moved moving back this way. Okay, now everything's lined up at least. Now oh it was. It was. How did I bump that? Okay. I think it'll stay together. Okay. We got a bit of a uh, melding going on here kind of kind of gooped everything my windows are open and the kids are outside playing okay we are done step 36 yeah tomorrow we start at 37 now I will have to be going around with my little paintbrush just let me move in a little bit here and uh, with the 19 and the 66 and maybe 77 here and there 
I don't think I'm going to have to do anything with the NATO black. I, I was lucky I didn't scratch any photo etch, at least not that I can see. And uh, yeah, and as far as our little searchlights go, I might just give them a touch of silver or something. I'm not sure yet. Or I might just leave them alone. And the, the front of these little mini radar thingies here, uh, according to uh, Stefan's drawing, they were all this, they were all some sort of gray. They're all the same color. At least that's the way he drew them. Anyway, I have not done any of the footage yet from my first bike ride from a few hours ago. And uh, I'm going to do that now. I'm hoping it turned out. I'm going to be attaching it at the end of this video, which has come to an end right now. So, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we're going to see you in the next episode. Now all the footage that you're going to be seeing here is taken with my smartphone and my surveillance system. But I'll try and edit everything out so that it makes sense. Enjoy! Have a good laugh. <laughs> I did. Now I want to see if this step will make it easier for me to get on or get my leg over because I can I can hold on to here like this and uh, okay I put our brake on I still haven't fixed the seat though have I okay over Easy does it now, easy does it. Get myself more centered on that seat, which I have to secure better. Okay. Now, I don't think I'm gonna try and use the pedal assist, although it, it might kick in, being as the... Really... Okay, that, that was easy. All right, now, Turn the key on, and there we go. Uh, okay, so let's just sort of get ourselves up, up like this, and uh, uh, we put our put the power on. You know, this thing is. I'm gonna to have to adjust this thing, it's in the wrong position. Yeah, bell. Okay, turn it on like this. Where's that button? There it is. Okay. Yeah, you can sort of read that. It says zero. Um, <clears throat> and we want level one. I'm gonna put the brake on so it won't accidentally kick in. Now it, it should. It should kick me ahead here once I start to go. Oh, this is my first ride.
know what? I just realized I forgot to put my helmet on. So far, so good. Look at stop this thing. Okay, here's what actually happened. Oh, so far, so good. Look at stop this thing. Okay, here's what actually happened. Yay. <laughs> the, inaugural the, the inaugural run. I said the rating. There is a picture of a man reclaiming a sliver of his life. Uh, I think that's what's happening, Max. I think that what's ha what's happening is I'm I just can't give up, you know. Well, there you go, folks. You basically saw it. If it's nice, I'll go out again this evening. Thanks for watching, everybody. And as I said earlier, we'll see you in the next episode.